So as acrylic pour artists, we want to create amazing art. That's just what we like to do. But one of the other things we need to worry about is what is going to happen to that art when it goes on display. And especially, are the colors in my art going to fade? So as an experiment, a year ago, I did a test with a bunch of different acrylic paints to see how they would hold up when you added them to a lot of pouring medium. You know, I started out um, half to one ratio or one to one ratio and went all the way up to about one to 10 pouring medium to paint ratio to see how the colors held up, to see what quality the pigments were. As a result of that, I did a little experiment where I had a race for the very thinned out paints to see which one would get to the bottom of the canvas first. However, one of the nice things about it is I took that painting and put it in my window. And it's been sitting there for over a year now. And I want to show you how the colors look now that they have been sitting in the direct sunlight. This is a um, south facing window in Salt Lake. So it really gets direct sun all day, every day, unless there's cloud cover, obviously. So let's see how these colors held up. And let's see what you can expect to have happen to your painting when it's exposed to the elements. Now I also wanted just to show you what it looks like here. So, we're gonna head outside. And there is the painting. And like I say, it's south facing. The sun's a little late in the evening, but it's just going straight. It gets direct sun all the time. So before I show you how these colors turned out in my artwork that's been sitting in the window for a year, let's talk a little bit about why it's important that we protect our art. So we're using acrylic colors, which is made of various different kinds of pigment. Uh, one of the ways to degradate or to um, break down the colors, one of the factors that has a uh, effect on that is light. Um, there's really three types of visible light. There is ultraviolet light, which is very short wavelength light. There is visible light, which we see the blues all the way up to the reds of the rainbow, the light we can see. And then there's UV, which is very long wavelengths, way past red, um, that we have to deal with. Visible light can degradate, um, especially direct visible sunlight can absolutely cause problems with your painting. With direct sunlight, essentially how light works is if I want to, to show blue, all of the light actually hits the blue. And then blue reflects back the blue light back to our eyes and it absorbs everything else. So the paints that are most likely to fade are actually the paints, um, you know, it depends on the pigment because the strength of the pigment determines how, uh, how much uh, energy needs to enter before it starts to break down. Um, on the blue end of light, it has a shorter wavelength, therefore it has more energy. On the red end of light, it's longer wavelength, has less energy. So the red absorbs all of those longer wavelength lights. So that's why red, especially like on car, um, car stickers and things that are on cars, the red breaks down quicker than most of the other colors and the yellows and things like that, they start to fade the quickest because they're absorbing the most energetic light. So we want to make sure we're protecting our paintings from that if we can. And also the UV light, there's a couple of different kinds of light, UVA, UVC, UVB lights. We're not going to worry about that. The UV light is just very potent light that we can't see. And it has the ability to put energy into our light and break down the molecules of our paints. And that's what causes, that's one of the things that causes the paints to fade. So it's important that we have a protective layer on our paints. You can do that by actually putting on a, um, a varnish like the Liquitec varnish that I use. And this does have UV protectant built in and a bunch of other different things. That's what it's made for. 
you can put special glass that protects against visible and UV light. You can put it in a place that doesn't get a lot of sunlight. If you notice paint, very old paintings in um, museums and places are always in pretty low light and they control how much light actually hits the painting. That is so that painting can last hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. In my case, I would love for my paintings to last that long. In my painting career now, I'm hoping that they last um, at least the lifetime of the owner, if not the lifetime of the next owner. So I take some care to make sure that I have light protection on my paintings. And that's why I think this is an important experiment for you guys to see how much change a acrylic pour could have based on a year of direct sunlight. So as a caveat, this was sitting in a window that's about 10 years old and it does have a low E rating on that window. So it already, the glass um, that it was behind has a UV protection barrier. So keep that in mind when you see the results of this. Also, I did not varnish this at all. This is the canvas. This is the paint that I drizzled down. That's it. I put it behind a couple of layers of duct tape and I put some parchment paper so the duct tape wouldn't stick to my actual painting. And so uh, it's just covered all the way around. So we're just gonna open this up and reveal. Gonna cut the back here. And I didn't put parchment paper on the sides. So I do kind of have to pull that off a little. So there we go. That is how this painting looks. So it's really hard to see right here. I'm gonna to go to my table and I will show you how much these colors faded. All right, so we're back at my table here. I put the duct tape and parchment paper back down so we can see here. There's a lot of things that I couldn't see when I first uh, cut the tape off that I wanna show you. So first of all, here's where the uh, tape was. As you can see, now that it's on the table with some even lighting, you can see right here where the color on the craft paint has degraded both on this side and up top. You can slightly see where it's degraded slightly here for the Artist Loft and Liquitex. I can't see anything with my naked eye here, but if I look at the viewfinder or, or what you guys are seeing, I can see a slight bit of um, it being lighter on this side. And again with this, I can't see it with my naked eye, but if I look at the viewfinder, there is a slight bit here. I don't know if that's because there's not as much paint, because this is where I started my race um, with the paints, or if it actually degraded. I'm assuming it's a little bit of both, honestly. I don't see that secondary bit of the actual blue color fading on this side. However, look at this interesting thing. I don't know if you knew this, but permanent marker actually degrades in sunlight very quickly. It is not good for uses in the sunlight. And you can actually see an example of that. Here was where the tape was. And look how much darker the permanent marker that's underneath the paint looks for those. It did not, so not as much light got in to uh, degrade that black color that is underneath the blue. But it almost, there's, there's pieces here that are almost gone from the permanent marker. So that's just an interesting, I'm glad I did that so I could see that degradation. As I mentioned before, the blue paint reflects blue back, which is some of the higher intensity blue, purple, and the higher intensity colors so it reflects the really high intensity, high energy light. So it, generally the blues are gonna degrade less quickly than the reds or the yellows, although that's not always the case based on the pigments that are used. More expensive pigments usually fade less quickly than less expensive pigments. That's really why the craft paint, one, it doesn't have a very good pigment load, 
and they're not they're less expensive pigments so it didn't last near as much so if you want a painting to last don't use craft paint that's how it is or if you want a painting to last don't put it in the sunlight after you've used craft paint my assumption here is i left this in direct sunlight for a year granted it was behind low e panes two low e panes of glass which i have on my windows that are about 10 years old so it does have quite a bit of good protection. I did not put any varnish on these paintings, so they didn't have that protection. And it wasn't behind any artist glass or you know a, a frame that had glass that has UV protection. So my assumption is if I made a painting with these four colors, they weren't it wasn't in direct sunlight, that it would last decades, if not a few lifetimes. If it is in a place where it has good windows, has no direct sunlight, it'll probably last even longer than that. I've got a lot of questions about how long art outside is going to last. It's not going to last very long unless you put it behind glass with a good UV protection, but it's still going to fade much quicker than art that's in the inside of your home that doesn't get a lot of direct sunlight. That's just the, the way things are. That's why very old artworks are usually in kind of dark and dim places in museums and they're only out for a few months and then they put them back into storage because they don't want that light to damage the colors of those artworks paintings um, you know wood sculptures all that kind of stuff so for those of you that have been following me for a while you'll know that a few weeks ago i did a poll on how people's paintings are holding up against fading. And in that poll, I got 153 votes so far. 40% of the people say they have no color fading. 33% say it's hard to tell if there's any color fading. 20% say there's some fading. And 7% said they had a lot of fading. So that means about 75% of the people out there have not seen very much fading or very little fading on their paintings. And another 25, 27% have seen some or a lot of fading. Now, if you want to be part of this poll also, I will link that in the description below and you can go in and, sh and tell us how, how you think your paintings have held up to the test of time. The results of this poll tells me a few things. First of all, about 75%, 73% of people haven't seen fading, haven't seen any fading, or it's hard to tell if they've seen fading. That tells me that the common practices that you guys are using to display your art are effective for keeping the amount of light degradation that you're having in your painting. And then 25% say they have a, a lot or some fading on their paintings. There's a few quick and easy steps you can do to make your painting last as long as possible. The first one is to use a good varnish. These varnishes actually have UP, UV protectant in them. I usually do uh, a few coats so I get a nice even coat. And I have a video which I'll link at the end of this video about how I apply it to my paintings to keep the brush marks out. But again, a good varnish that has UV protection is a must for your paint pores. The second thing is be cognizant of where your painting is going to be displayed. If it's going to be in direct sunlight or it's going to be in an outdoor location, it is going to fade. That is just what's going to happen. You can determine how much it's going to fade by how long you let it in that it be in that environment. Like, you know, if you have a pool house and you put it in your pool house, maybe you only show it during the, the months of the year that you're actually in your pool house and then you put it in storage until... Uh, when you're not using your pool, something like that can extend the life of your painting. Second thing, you could put a glass. There's actually some really nice glass that have UV and visible light protections on them. That would work great to, again, give another added layer of protection. The third thing is treatments on your windows. You can get a window treatment or maybe windows that actually have like a low E coating or putting a coating on your windows that limit the UV light that is coming in but doesn't really limit the visible light that's coming in. So you still get nice bright light coming in to your house but the UV gets filtered out from that. So those are just some practical things that you can do to extend the life of your painting. If you do these things, your painting will last decades 
if not lifetimes. Uh, my paintings haven't been out there for decades. They've only been out there for a few, year, few years. And I haven't yet had one person tell me that they see visible fading on my paintings by taking some of these just um, logical steps to protect your painting. So as I mentioned, here is the video that I recommend you watch next about a varnishing your acrylic paint pour. And we will see you guys in the next episode here on the Left Brain Artist channel.